One of the premier features of Ubersmith DE is the ability to collect, measure, and bill for bandwidth utilization as reported by your network equipment. There are three main steps to setting up this feature on a client's device. Step 1. Configuring your network hardware. The first thing you'll need to take care of is creating a device entry for your switch, router, or other core network device in Ubersmith's device manager. The device will need to have its simple network management protocol, or SNMP, capabilities enabled. You will need to have a read and optionally write community configured as well. If there are any access control lists configured for the device, you will want to ensure that they allow your Ubersmith DE appliance's IP address access to the host. If you haven't already, you'll need to enable the switch information device module for the device types you are using for your network equipment. This can be done via the device types page in Setup and Admin. Looking at the device entry for a switch or router, you'll see that the switch information module displays the message switch information not configured. Clicking the edit link, you will be presented with a pop-up that will allow you to set up the device. From the model drop-down, select the switch make and model that most closely matches your hardware. If you cannot find an exact match, the generic SNMP V2 switch may be a good choice. Select an address from the drop-down for your appliance to use to communicate with the switch. If there are no addresses in the drop-down, you can manually specify one by clicking the edit link. Change the update interval to 1. This tells the appliance to collect data from your network device once per minute. Enter the read community for the device. If desired, enter the write community for the device. Providing the write community will allow your administrators to enable or disable ports on the device. Specify a timeout for the device if available. The default value of 2 seconds is a good starting point. Select the method to retrieve SNMP data from the device. SNMP GET, the default, should work for most devices. Click SAVE to add the configuration. The switch will display the list of available ports and will now begin collecting data. Step 2. Associating the client's device with a port. You are now ready to associate one of these ports with a server, uplink, or other device that the port may be attached to. Before moving forward, please make sure that you have enabled the Bandwidth Monitoring Device Module for any device types that you plan on viewing bandwidth utilization for. Clicking the Edit link for the Bandwidth Monitoring Module, you will be presented with a pop-up that shows the list of switches and ports that have been entered into Ubersmith. You can select the newly configured switch from the drop-down, as well as the port this device is connected to. Since you'll want to be able to bill for the traffic crossing this port, leave the Billable option set to Yes. You can also add a text comment entry if you like. Click Save to add this switch port to the device. You will now see a graph that displays the bandwidth utilization for this switch port. Step 3. Associate the client's device with a service. This device is ready to be associated with a client and a service. Click Edit Device and click the Ownership Info tab. Search for the client and select them from the list. Then select the appropriate service. Click Update to save your changes. Next, you'll need to ensure that the service plan you wish to use is ready to perform bandwidth billing. Go to the Service Plans page in Setup and Admin, and click on the service plan you intend to use for bandwidth billing. In the lower right-hand corner of the page, you will see a section entitled Service Modules. Click the Add Module link. This will open a pop-up that will allow you to add a service module. Choose the Enabled radio button. From the module drop-down, choose Bandwidth Billing. Set Client Access to View if you want your clients to be able to see their bandwidth utilization from the Service Details page. Click the Config tab. The Overage Precision drop-down determines how Ubersmith will round up the bandwidth data collected by the system. Zero will round to the nearest integer, one to the nearest tenth, two to the nearest hundredth. The setting Error When No Devices Are Associated controls how Ubersmith will behave when an improperly configured bandwidth billing service comes up for renewal. Selecting Yes for this option will stop these services from renewing until they have been corrected by an admin. Selecting No will allow the service to renew without calculating bandwidth usage for that period. Click Save to save the service module configuration. Adding the Bandwidth Billing Service Module will automatically add the Bandwidth Overage Service Plan, as well as several custom data fields used for configuring bandwidth billing. Navigate to the Client Service in the Client Manager and edit its custom data fields. 
These custom fields will allow you to configure how bandwidth overages should be calculated. For the billing method, you have several options. Total transfer and 95th percentile are the most common. The included transfer is how much bandwidth is available to the client before overages will be considered. This could be zero if the client has no included bandwidth. The transfer unit and overage unit should be in bytes, megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes for total transfer billing, or a rate, megabits per second, or gigabits per second for 95th percentile billing. The overage rate is the dollar value to be charged for each overage unit the client accumulates. You will know that your configuration was successful when you see the bandwidth usage chart on the right side of the service details page. This chart breaks down the client's usage for the current period and any amount they are set to be billed upon their next renewal. You will also see the option to view a graph of the client's usage for the current period. This service is now configured for bandwidth billing. From here on, any time this service renews and an overage has been accumulated, Ubersmith will automatically create a bandwidth overage child service and bill the client for the amount due. This concludes our tutorial on configuring bandwidth monitoring and overage billing. If you have any further questions, please contact support at ubersmith.com.